On day six of our Ireland road trip, we've departed Galway City and headed northeast on N83 up through part of County Mayo and into County Sligo. At Colooney, we took the N4. Now, we'll be coming back to Colooney tonight because we're staying at Marcree Castle. We have a separate video just on the castle. If you hit the little info circle at the upper right corner, it'll take you to that video. We continued north and took the N15 into the Dartry Mountains. We're headed for some amazing scenery at two little known sites in Ireland. So behind me is Ben Balban Mountain and we're headed to the Glen of Horseshoe on the side of it. A stunning table mountain created 320 million years ago during the last ice age by moving glaciers. It stands 1,726 feet tall or that's 526 meters. There's a Ben Balban forest walk to give you an up close look at the mountain. It's about five and a half kilometers or a little over three miles. It's a flat loop with parking and it's only about 10 minutes drive from Sligo town. We'll put the details in the link below. This area of the wild Atlantic way is known as Yates country. For the Irish poet, dramatist, and Nobel Prize winner William Butler Yeats, who, though born in Dublin, called this area home and immortalized it in his poem Under Ben Bulban. He's buried in the churchyard in nearby Drumcliff with lines of his poem on his tombstone. Just opened is the new Yeats Trail with 14 locations that you can drive, walk, or bike to. Below, you can find the news story and the link to the website for the trail. We're headed to Glen of Horseshoe from here, but it wasn't easy to find. We turned right on L3401 just before Grange and took it to Glen of Horseshoe Road, L7130, turning right. This took us counterclockwise through the Horseshoe. For an easier time of it, Stay on N15 through Grange and Clifoni and turn right on L3104 for a straight shot into the north side of the horseshoe and a clockwise route around it. We'll link to trail maps in the description. Because the weather wasn't great and we were limited on time, we chose to drive. Here we can see Diarmuid and Grania's cave, the highest cave in Ireland. It sits in the cliffs of Anacuna. A hike up there is dangerous and not recommended, but if you'd like to take a look at what it looks like, O'Shawn Feeney took a hike up there in 2018. We'll link to his blog about it below. Diermit and Grania were star-crossed lovers, and I'll warn you, in Irish mythology, things rarely end well. In the third century, Finn Macul was an aging warrior chieftain with magical powers. He was betrothed to Grania, the daughter of the High King of Ireland, said to be the most beautiful woman in the country. But at their rehearsal dinner the night before, she met Diarmuid, Finn's right-hand man, and fell madly in love with him. Because he refused to betray Finn, she cast a spell on him. The couple were on the run with Finn in pursuit for 16 years. This cave was supposedly one of the places they hid out. Directly below the cave, you see the ruins of the old National School. In some of the mountains and cliffs around you, you'll see mine openings. Barite, or barium sulfate, was mined here in years past. A light-colored crystal, barite is used in medical testing, production of concrete, paint and plastics, and in drilling. You'll see ruins of the old barite mill throughout the horseshoe. Also, you'll see sheep still grazing on the sides of the mountain. On the inside of the horseshoe, you'll see a heart-shaped cave with a waterfall falling from it. The YouTube channel Rain or Shine has done some amazing drone footage of this spot. I'll put a link in the notes. There's a waterfall right up here on the ridge. Trying to get a better view of that. Kind of hard shape. 
This panoramic shot will give you a good view of the inside of the horseshoe. The rock formations there are spectacular. This shot with people walking in the distance will give you an idea of just how big the cliffs really are. But the weather continued to deteriorate. As the mist and fog rolled over the top of the mountain toward the cave, we realized just why it is that this area has inspired such magical mythology. Further on, we saw Benwiskin, the wave-shaped mountain. The shape of the top reminded me a little of the Matterhorn, especially if you flip the direction of it around. We made our way back to Sligo Town, and after finding a place to park, we went in search of somewhere to have a drink. On the far bank of the Garibog River, we found Fiddler's Creek. So we stepped into Fiddler's Creek, and my, high, my eyes hadn't adjusted from the outdoor light to the indoor light. I stepped down towards the bar and I missed the second step. I awkwardly caught myself, but what a great conversation starter that was. We sat next to Michael. He joked that he had done the same thing earlier that I had just done, without injury. Yeah. We talked about Ireland, the US, and the steeplechase racing on TV. All of a sudden the horse racing was interrupted by a news update regarding the arrangements for the burial of Queen Elizabeth. I asked Michael what his thoughts were. For the next 15 or 20 minutes, he spoke calmly but very passionately about Ireland and the past. We were able to change the subject by explaining that we did not come to Ireland to take sides, and we both turned back to the humor of missing or tripping on the step as we left the pub. That was quite a memorable part of our day. We took a walk along the riverfront. Nearly half the downtown area has been rejuvenated in the last 10 years, most notably the attractive riverfront promenade with its new left bank of restaurants and cafes. But the old arched stone bridges and cobblestone streets continue to anchor the town in the old history. While Ben Bulbin watches over it from a distance for all of time. For tonight, we're headed to Colooney and Mark Creek Castle to spend the night. Since that's already posted, next week we'll be heading into County Donegal and a hike up Mount Aragal. We'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe if you haven't already. To do that, press the button on the left with our faces. And to see more of our videos, press the square on the right. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next Wednesday.